Create the life that you want for yourself, part two. And today it's just to revisit the, uh, the post again around how to make more of what you want in life. It's again, it's a big question as I highlighted last time. Just got five very brief points. Um, number one, we tend to focus and become tuned in to those people that we hang around with. It doesn't make um, uh, any, any far reaching sense at all to hang around with people who I personally call mood hoovers. You, you know, the type, the people who traditionally light up a room just simply by leaving it. Um, they draw every ounce of energy from you and it's not because we have any bad will towards those people it's just that you need to spend time with people who are empowering and helping you to achieve the kind of things that you want even if it's purely the mindset number two very much around visualizing what you want um, giving your brain a target to focus on again sounds very very simple um, interestingly your brain always has a target even if you're not aware of it. Um, and it's probably more so that having a very clear idea of what you do want uh, in terms of visualizing a target, a place that you want to be, something that you're doing or want to do more of, um, visualize that target. Number three, be aware of your limiting beliefs. What stories do you tell yourself? We all do this. Um, it's very easy to talk about again. How do we remedy that? Well, imagining you're in a, in a story yourself playing the, 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 the lead character, what story would you prefer to talk to yourself about? And what would that character be um, now and in the future? Uh, number four is very much around fire, take aim and take action right now. So, they do say that procrastination is the enemy of joy. If you think about it, it's hard not to agree with that. Um, how many careers, how many lives are still on the drawing board, still in a, in, a, in, a, in a moment where that novel inside of you that wants to be written doesn't come out? Um, just, just take action. Um, you learn far more by doing an imperfect job and just basically course correcting and adjusting that um, until you think you're just about ready to do that uh, perfect job. And finally, remember that a journey takes a single step. So if that single step is, is a struggle, um, chunk it down even further. What is the one thing that you could do today? Even, even putting together a to-do list um, and just taking the first point on that to-do list um, after writing the to-do list, which is the first point, of course, what small step are you going to do today? Very brief uh, message from me. I hope you've all had a great weekend. Keep him well and we'll catch up soon. Please, God. Take care. Bye for now.